Hello lovely people, welcome back to the best kitchen where so heavily recipes are made. Thank you all for coming back and I believe you are doing great by the grace of God. Lovelies, in this video today we are making carrot oil and I am so happy to share with you two ways that I make my carrot oil. I will as well take you through some of its benefits. So if you are interested, please take and stay and let's get started. You will need carrot, which is the main ingredient and it needs to be washed nicely and patted dry like i'm doing so at this moment you will either choose to scrip off the skin or you will leave the skin on i will advise you leave the skin on because we need all the nutrients that the skin has in this carrot oil but if you want to leave the skin on then make sure to leave the carrot in salt solution for it to release all the dirt before you grate it okay so we are done grating the carrot and it's time for us to use our carrier oil and i'm using my homemade coconut oil for this first method if you haven't seen the coconut oil that i made from scratch i'll leave the link in the description box below for your own convenience please check it out okay so now i'm putting some coconut oil in a saucepan and after that i'll add some grated carrot. I'm going to leave some of the grated carrots for the next method so guys keep watching the first method is done and now we are on the second method with this method I'm going to use olive oil as the carrier oil if you are enjoying this video so far please give your girl a big thumbs up and if you are new on this channel hey you are warmly welcome Please join us by clicking on the red subscribe button, click on the bell button to join us and also to get updates from us. So this is the second method and with this method, we're going to get our carrot oil by using the steaming process, okay? So guys, keep watching and you will see what will happen next. Now going on to the first method, which is the frying method, you can all see clearly here that the carrot has really infused into the coconut oil and now the color has changed totally to orange color this is so amazing guys can you see that the carrot has really infused into the coconut oil and i can smell it's so so amazing now let's check on the steaming method with the steam method you can also see that we are doing a great job here now let's check it out to see Oh my goodness, the carrot has also infused into the olive oil. So now guys, let it cool down and we will continue from there. Okay, so we are back and you can see that it's already cooled down. So we're going to just separate the pulp from the oil. Okay, using the chiffon cloth, which you can also use any cloth of your choice to do this. Okay, so let's pour it onto the cloth just like this. Now lift it up patiently and then squeeze the oil out like that, leaving the pulp inside the chiffon cloth. This is the frying method, all right? And with the frying method, when you fry the carrots and then the coconut oil or any other carrier oil that you use for a long time, you shouldn't see any traces of carrot juice in the oil at all. But because I didn't fry mine for a long time, you can see clearly that there is still traces of carrot juice in the oil, okay? But I have a way to remove the carrot juice from the oil. So if you want to see how I do it, then please stick and stay and I'll show you the tips and tricks. Because I didn't want to fry it for a long time to lose all the nutrients, that is why I fried it halfway okay so now we are on to the second method and using the same procedure we're going to also separate the carrot pulp from the oil okay so now that we've poured the carrot and the oil in the chiffon cloth we are going to just lift it up patiently and squeeze out the oil with this one we can also clearly see that there will be some carrot juice in it as well can you see it 
This is the steaming method. And with the steaming method, you are sure of all the nutrients still intact. Unlike the fryer method, where you are meant to lose some of the nutrients in the carrot oil. That is why I don't fry my carrot oil for a long time. Hence, some of the carrot juice remain in the oil. But note that if you are going to use the carrot oil just now or immediately, then you are fine with this. You can just use it just like this without wasting more time to separate the juice from the oil. But if you want the oil to stay for a longer period of time, then as I said, I have the tips and tricks. So stick and stay. Okay. Now, guys, we are all done with our carrot oil. It's just fine. It smells so good. This one is the one that I use the olive oil. And then the right one, the one that I'm just covering up, is the one I use the coconut oil. Okay. So this is the trick. I'm going to put this in the freezer for some few hours. I'll bring it back and then I'll separate the juice from the oil. For so those of you who have seen how I made my cold pressed coconut oil, you know this trick, okay? This is how to separate the juice from the oil all the time, okay? Either coconut oil or any other oil like this one. Just use this trick to separate the juice or water from the oil that you are making. So guys, I'm going to use a knife to cut the juice part and I'll be done making my homemade carrot oil, okay? I'll repeat the same process with the second method. With this one, can you see that the juice is not that much? It's because I fried it, okay? So the more you fry, the more you lose the juice. And because I didn't fry it that much, that's why there's still some juice in here, okay? So I'll do the same thing with this. And guys, I'll be done with my homemade carrot oil. I could have also left the carrot oil and then the juice to stay for days. And gradually the water or the juice will just settle down for the oil to stay up. And then I'll use my spoon or ladle to collect the oil from the top of the juice. But with that one, when care is not taken, sometimes the juice still follows the oil and then the oil goes bad in a short time, okay? But I prefer this method because I'm able to cut the juice part, leaving the oil part, and this helps my oil to stay on the shelf for a long period of time. Guys, just like that, we are all done making our homemade carrot oil. And now let me take you through some of the benefits of carrot oil. Carrot oil helps delay the aging process. It naturally balances out the skin. It treats acne all naturally. Carrot oil makes your hair softer and shinier. Carrot oil brightens up dull skin. Guys, carrot oil also conditions your hair all naturally. Carrot oil promotes hair growth because of the vitamin A and E that is packed in it. Carrot oil is a great natural skin toner. It helps to treat hyperpigmentation. Carrot oil treats acne, guys, and many more. Lovely people, if this video is helpful, please give your girl a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video, please. If you are also new, you are warmly welcome. Click on the red subscribe button. Click on the bell button to join this beautiful family and you will never, ever regret it. So lovely people, I'm going to cut it into pieces. Put this in a bowl and then allow it to melt for you to see, okay? It will melt under room temperature. You can as well leave it in the sun for the sun to melt it for you. This one is the olive oil one and right away it is already melted. You can also leave this in the sun and come back in a few minutes, okay? So we are back and look at that. We have our carrot oil ready to be used for our skin and also our hair. Guys, this is so amazing and I love the benefits that I'm going to gain from this carrot oil. So waste no time. Give it a try and bring me the feedback. Thank you all for watching. See you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe and be good. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Take care.